How many words do you know? Master English vocabulary. Top tricks to learn words fast. Experts say that the average adult knows between 20,000 and 35,000 words in their native language. Some people even know 50,000 to 65,000 words. Emma was amazed. That is a lot of words, she thought. But she knew that learning a new language was not just about learning new words. It was about practicing and using those words in real life. Emma thought about her native language. She didn't think about how many words she knew. She just spoke and understood them naturally. It's so easy to speak in my own language, she thought. But learning new words in a different language, that was a challenge. Emma knew she had to work hard. <coughs> when learning a new language, it's not just about learning grammar. It's about learning new words thousands of them. But Emma wondered, how can I remember all these words? Her teacher told her about a secret. The secret was in how she used her memory. There was a way to remember words better, and it was not as hard as she thought. <laughs> the brain has two types of memory, short-term memory and long-term memory. Emma learned that when she first hears a new word, it goes into her short-term memory. But short-term memory doesn't have a lot of space. That's why Emma often forgot new words quickly. She needed to move those words into her long-term memory, where they would stay for much longer. <laughs> long-term memory has a lot more room. In fact, some experts say it might have unlimited space. That made Emma feel better. So I just need to move the new words to my long-term memory, she thought. But how could she do that? There were some tricks she could use to help her brain remember. The first trick was to put new words into a phrase or sentence. Emma realized that it's hard to remember a single word, but if she used it in a sentence, it was easier to remember. For example, instead of just learning the word learn, she could say, I want to learn English. Now the word had meaning. The second trick was to group similar words together. Emma started making lists of words that were similar in meaning. She found that her brain connected those words more easily. This is like building a word family, she thought. Words were not just random, they had friends. The third tip was to write her own definition of the word. Emma knew that just copying the dictionary definition wasn't enough. She needed to understand what the word really meant. By writing the meaning in her own words, she remembered it better. This made learning feel more personal. The fourth tip was to practice in a pattern. At first, Emma practiced new words every day. But after a while, she practiced once a week and then once a month. Her teacher explained that this helped her brain move the words from short-term memory to long-term memory. Practice makes perfect, her teacher always said. Emma decided to start using these tips. She made a list of new words she wanted to learn. Each day, she picked one word and made a sentence with it. She grouped similar words together, wrote her own definitions, and reviewed them every week. Slowly, she noticed a change. She was remembering more words, and it was getting easier. One day, Emma's friend, Oliver, asked her, How do you remember so many words? Emma smiled and shared her secret. It's all about how you use your brain, she said. You need to practice in a smart way. Use sentences, make lists, and give the words time to stay in your memory. <laughs> Oliver was impressed. Wow, I will try that, he said. But what about difficult words? Some words are so hard to remember. Emma thought about it for a moment. Difficult words are like puzzles, she said. You just need to fit them into a bigger picture. That's why sentences and examples are so helpful. <laughs> Together. Emma and Oliver started learning new words every day. They practiced by talking to each other in the new language. They used the words in real conversations. The more they practiced, the better they got. Soon, they were having full conversations in their new language. Learning new words was no longer a hard task for Emma. It had become a fun game. She loved the challenge of finding new ways to remember words. Each word was like a key, unlocking new possibilities for her. And she knew that with each word, 
she was getting closer to mastering the language. Emma's favorite way to practice was by reading stories. Every time she read a new story, she found new words to learn. She wrote them down in her notebook and made sure to use them in sentences. Reading became her secret weapon for learning new vocabulary. Oliver, on the other hand, loved to watch videos. He found that hearing the words spoken out loud helped him remember them better. He watched English learning videos every day, repeating the words he heard. Soon, he was speaking more confidently and understanding more words. Emma and Oliver discovered that using pictures with words helped, too. Emma drew a small picture next to each new word in her notebook. When she saw the picture, it reminded her of the word. For example, next to the word apple, she drew a small red apple. This made it fun and easy to remember. Oliver liked using sounds. He made a game of matching new words with sounds that helped him remember. For example, for the word train, he imagined the sound of a train passing by. Every time he heard the word train, the sound came to his mind, and it was easy to remember. One day, their teacher gave them a new challenge. Try using these words in a conversation, she said. Emma and Oliver were nervous at first, but they accepted the challenge. They practiced talking to each other, using as many new words as they could. The more they practiced, the easier it became. Emma thought about another technique her teacher mentioned, reviewing words in different places. She decided to practice her words while sitting in the park, then again at home, and sometimes while walking. This way, her brain linked the words to different places, making them easier to remember. Oliver had a different idea. He started using sticky notes. He wrote new words on small pieces of paper and stuck them around his room. Every time he saw a note, he said the word out loud. By seeing the words everywhere, they became a natural part of his environment. One day, Emma and Oliver had a competition. They both made a list of ten new words and had to use them in a conversation. The challenge was to use all the words correctly. At first, it was tricky, but soon they found creative ways to include the words. By the end, they had both used all the words. The teacher was very happy with their progress. You both did an excellent job, she said. Remember, learning new words takes time, but with practice, it becomes easier. And the more you use these words, the more natural they will feel. <laughs> Emma started making flashcards. On one side, she wrote the new word, and on the other, she wrote its meaning or a sentence with the word. Every day, she looked at the cards, trying to remember the meanings. Flashcards helped her test her memory and quickly review what she had learned. Oliver preferred using technology. He downloaded a language learning app on his phone. The app showed him new words every day, and he had to match them with pictures or sentences. The app also reminded him to practice, which kept him on track. Their teacher introduced a new concept, using stories to learn words. When you read a story, try to find new words. Write them down and then make sentences with them, she explained. Emma loved this idea because she enjoyed reading. She found that stories made learning new words more exciting. Oliver discovered another technique. He learned that connecting new words to something he already knew made them easier to remember. For example, he linked the word waterfall to a memory of a trip to the mountains. By creating personal connections, the words became more meaningful. Emma and Oliver decided to learn five new words each week. They wrote the words on a big board and checked them off when they could use them in conversation. At the end of each week, they celebrated their progress. It became a fun way to stay motivated. Emma noticed that practicing new words before bed helped her remember them better. She read her vocabulary list each night before going to sleep. The next day, the words felt more familiar. This technique worked because her brain continued to process the words while she slept. Oliver tried something new, listening to the words. He recorded himself saying the words and their meanings. Then, he listened to the recording while walking or relaxing. 
hearing the words over and over again made them stick in his mind. <laughs> One weekend, Emma and Oliver decided to create a fun word game. They wrote new words on small cards and placed them in a bowl. Each person picked a card and had to explain the word without saying it. It was a fun way to practice using the words in different ways. Their teacher also encouraged them to use new words in writing. Write short stories or paragraphs using your new vocabulary, she said. Emma wrote a story about her cat, using as many new words as possible. Oliver wrote a paragraph about his favorite sport. Writing made the words feel more natural. One day, Emma had a great idea. She decided to teach her younger brother some of the words she was learning. By teaching someone else, she understood the words better herself. Her brother also had fun learning new words with her. <laughs> One day, Emma had a great idea. She decided to teach her younger brother some of the words she was learning. By teaching someone else, she understood the words better herself. Her brother, Oliver, started learning idioms, which are phrases that have a special meaning. For example, raining cats and dogs means it's raining a lot. Learning idioms made his language skills sound more natural. He felt proud when he could use them in conversations, also had fun learning new words with her. Oliver also found that repeating words with a rhythm helped him remember them. He turned his new vocabulary into short songs or chants. As he sang the words, they stayed in his mind. It was a fun and musical way to learn. One day, Emma had trouble remembering a difficult word. She tried repeating it, using it in a sentence, and even writing it down, but it just wouldn't stick. Then her teacher suggested she break the word into smaller parts. Emma found that by learning one part at a time, the word became easier to remember. Both Emma and Oliver realized that patience was key. Learning new words didn't happen overnight. Sometimes it took weeks of practice before a word became easy to use. But with time, they both felt more confident in their new language. Emma decided to set small goals for herself. Each day, she aimed to learn five new words. She created a calendar where she could check off each day's progress. This helped her stay motivated and organized. Small goals made learning feel more achievable. Oliver liked to challenge himself by trying to use new words in every conversation. Whether he was talking to friends, family, or even himself, he looked for chances to use what he had learned. It was like a daily puzzle, and it kept him engaged in learning. Emma's favorite technique was still using flashcards. She had a stack of them on her desk, and every time she had a free moment, she reviewed her words. The cards were colorful and fun, and they helped her test herself without pressure. One day, their teacher introduced a new method called mind mapping. Emma and Oliver wrote the new word in the center of a page. Then, they drew lines connecting that word to related ideas or words. For example, if the word was fruit, they drew lines to apple, banana, and... Their teacher introduced a new method called mind mapping. Emma and Oliver wrote the new word in the center of a page. Then, they drew lines connecting that word to related ideas or words. For example, if the word was fruit, they drew lines to apple, banana, and orange. Mind maps helped them see how words were connected. Emma loved mind mapping. She used it for many subjects, not just for vocabulary. It helped her organize her thoughts and remember things better. By connecting words to other ideas, she made learning more visual and fun. In the end, Emma and Oliver realized that learning a language is a lifelong journey. It's not just about reaching a goal, it's about enjoying the process. They knew they would keep learning and growing, one word at a time. Thank you for watching our video on how to learn new words easily. Learning a language is a journey, and we're here to help you along the way. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun and easy ways to improve your English skills. Your support helps us create more valuable content. See you in the next video. Let's keep learning together.